I've been experimenting with three different AI tools that helps cut your long form videos and repurpose it into short form vertical content that you can repurpose on Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, whatever type of vertical videos you guys want to build out. Now, if you've already been creating long form content, this is going to be a game changer for you. Now, I don't think this is gonna replace video editors, but I do believe this is just for any person that's just wanting to get into the content game and doesn't have all the time to edit or the resources to hire for 30 to $50 per video. I love building systems, finding tools that's gonna help you as a creator and business owner to really take it to the next level and share your message to the world. And as I talk about these, there's no specific order of what I'd recommend. I'll just give y'all pros, cons, bonus tips. But at the end, I'll share with you the one that I will continue to use this day on. And disclaimer, these are the things that I'm just sharing right now. These can change whether it's pricing, payment plans. But over the last few months, as I've been testing these, again, this is such a powerful tool to have. So you might just be a solopreneur, a solo creator that's just looking to leverage tools so that you can expand your territory in the online space with content. Or you're a video editor or you're an editing agency and you just need a little bit more leverage. Tap in and let's check out these tools. Now we're gonna just talk about a few main criteria when it comes to these tools. What's the average time I gotta wait when I try to upload it onto the site and then it cuts it up? Does the video actually make sense that this AI software tool is cutting? How well are the captions when they cut them, what are the pricing plans that they're offering? And last one, number five, just a bonus of what I liked from each one of these tools. So the first one is app.getmuch. So what you do is you get onto the website, you put in your link, and then from there, it gives you an average wait time. Uh, it goes as far as 40 minutes. I've seen an average wait time. It might be quicker, might not, but it's an average of 30 to 40 minutes from what I've been able to experience. And after it cuts, does the video actually make sense? I give it a six out of 10 when it comes to the AI. Like it'll cut at random spots, random moments that just kind of doesn't make sense. It's not finishing a thought. And what I like about this is you actually go in and then you step in and you'll see, it'll actually say, hey, do you wanna trust what they're gonna give you? Or do you wanna give a 10 second cut, a 20, a 30, a 60? So I like that that you're able to say, I trust it. Sometimes I don't. If you want a straight 60 second cut, it'll cut 60 seconds within that video. Now, how do the captions look and do they actually align with the video? I give it a nine out of 10. It aligns, the captions look pretty solid. I like them personally, and they're just clean and simple captions. So that's why I gave it a nine out of 10. Now, what are the different payment plans? You can start this off for free. I didn't really see any specific plan for free, but the next payment plan was $49 for 100 minutes of video, which is not too bad for over 100 pieces of content. Again, hiring a video editor, that's like one video the average video editor does that cuts it up for 50 bucks. So to get 100, uh, types of videos for 50 bucks is still a great deal. And then they're the highest tier is you're gonna go out, ask for a quote, and then they'll do a specific quote for you based on your needs. And you might hop on a consulting call, but that's the payment plan. The bonus that I like is I love how it gives timestamps of when it cut. I didn't see that with the other AI tool. So it gives you a timestamp of when they cut it, which is so great. And another thing is they actually built in an integration so you can post on shorts, TikTok, Instagram, so you can actually start automation and you can start posting directly onto there. So I did like that. So those are bonuses of what I liked about app.getmunch. The next one is video.ai. Now I've been using this a lot more than the other three tools that I'm gonna be recommending, but now I'm not starting to like it as I'm starting to compare. And I'll tell you guys why, but first, when you go in, you tap in and hit the YouTube link onto the main page, and it's an average of 10 minutes to get your videos cut up, which is pretty solid for 10 minutes. And when they cut up the videos, I ask, do they actually make sense? I think it's pretty solid as far as the topics that they cut up. So I give it a seven out of 10 as videos and topics make sense. When I talk about topics making sense, it's is that idea that they're cutting from like a seven to 30 minute video, is that one minute clip making sense to the audience when they hear it from a one minute type of context. That's what I talk about. So does a video make sense? I give it a seven out of 10. The captions do not align. You can try to do different types of captions. I like how you can have like different vertical forms, how it looks, but I don't like how the captions align. So I don't cut it with the captions that video.ai gives. So I give it a two out of 10. It's just not something I recommend. I've tried it on a few videos, it's okay, but it doesn't align and I didn't like that. So I had to take it and I had to take those videos, our editor, he put it onto a cap cut so that it would actually align. So that's why I give it a two out of 10 when it comes to captions 
would not recommend video.ai. I hope they improve it because they can always improve. Now the different plans and you're gonna see it, it's $0 starting off for the free trial, 75 minutes. It's $29 for up to 300 minutes and it's $49 for up to 500 minutes. So again, not bad. These are still great tools, up to 50 bucks to get the highest tier with all the different perks. Totally worth it for the pr price plan, but even with the free version, I've just been using the free version. It's been solid for myself and for the growth of my uh, YouTube channel in the shorts. The bonus that I give video.ai is the big picture topics. I know I gave it a seven out of 10, but do, they do actually make sense. That's why I like it. They actually have good topics that made sense and it's been pretty fruitful to a lot of my videos. So I give it that to at least make it make sense. So it's not just cutting in random spots. So. That's a bonus I get for video.ai and why I'd use it. The third one and the last one that I use is opus.pro. I just recently found out about it, started using it, and I really enjoyed this one and I'll tell you why. Average wait time for the videos is about 15 minutes. So once you get the link, you post it onto the website, in about 15 minutes, it'll go ahead and cut up your clips. Does the video make sense and big picture ideas? Yes, they do. So that's why I give it a nine out of 10. It'll take like a 20, 30 minute podcast and it'll cut some really solid big picture ideas from what I've been able to experiment and it's been solid for me. Again, AI tools can change, things can change, everyone's different. But for me personally, it's been a nine out of 10. Love it. Captions, align and captions are nice, simple. They're actually the type of style content I like as far as captions. So I personally give it a 10 out of 10. It's aligned, it's captions that I like. So that's why I've rated it 10 out of 10. So the plan right now for this is a free plan to up to 50 videos it says. And then it's saying that there's gonna come out with a pay plan. And if you actually read on their website, it's gonna be coming out in May of 2023. It says rolling out a plan in May with a free forever tier. So whatever that means, I might be in, I'm gonna keep using this for the next few weeks again, but it, to me, I'm pretty sold out on this one. And then again, the bonus is just the captions are just very simple and I really like it. They're very, very clean aligned. And to me, I think captions are huge, especially when the audience is listening and you're going in and you're trying to see, you know, you're making sure that they're actually engaged. That's why I'm big about this, but you guys probably know which one that I'm recommending out of all three of these. It's definitely opus.pro, and I think it's one of the newest ones that just came out. I hope y'all enjoy this. I try not to be biased, but obviously you guys know which one I'm using, and I think they're all great. I've used all of them in seasons. The recent one I found was opus.pro. You guys can tap in, check that out. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys do, go ahead, tap below. I enjoy helping people in the creator's economy, helping build systems, leveraging that. So if you guys are interested in that, that's kind of like where this channel is going and a lot of content around it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and check out this video on the seven tips of what you need in the digital age in this new era for the creator's economy. Check that out. You guys will enjoy it. Y'all be blessed. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.